Marilyn Benia Sawyak wrote Crematorium, which is a crime thriller with a psychological twist. It's about the life of an E.R. Nurse named Maggie Bennett. Nurse at St. Vincent's Hospital, and it was her job to solve the problem that had just come up. Maggie was married to Kale, but after six months, he left her with a lot of debt and no reason. She threw herself into her work to forget about her pain. Her peace is shattered when one of her patients, who had no ID and was called Trauma Scott, dies in a horrible way while she is watching. Right after this happened, her lawyer came to tell her that her husband had died because his car brakes had stopped working. Detective Han seems to think that these deaths were caused by murder, but he doesn't have enough proof to move the case forward. On the other hand, Maggie has found some evidence that links Trauma Scott to her husband. She thinks that someone wanted them both dead. When strange things start happening around her, she thinks that someone might also be after her. Pick up this book if you want to find out more about how Maggie handles the investigation, deals with her enemies, and maybe even finds love again. Crematorium was a beautiful book to read. The book turned out to have just the right amount of mystery, action, humor, and suspense. Over the course of its 366 pages, there was never a dull moment. As soon as I started reading, I was hooked. A lot of different feelings went through me. Sometimes I was sad that things seemed to be going Maggie's way, and sometimes I was glad. Marilyn told the story from a third-person point of view, focusing on Maggie, Benny, Sam, and Ivan's lives. I liked this because it gave me an overview of what the characters were doing as the story went on. The grammar was easy to understand. I thought the book would be full of medical terms, but that wasn't the case. Even though this book was made up, it had real-life themes and a deep plot. The only thing about the book I didn't like was how it was put together. Some of the chapters were only three pages long, which was too short. I didn't like that because it stopped the flow of what I was reading. Everything else in the book was told well, from how the characters changed to how the story went. I liked that I couldn't guess how it would end. In all, it was an intriguing read. I found only two mistakes while reading, but they didn't get in the way of my enjoyment of the book. Crematorium by Marilyn Benia Sawyak gets a perfect score of 4 out of 4 for its beautiful story and realistic themes. I recommend this to people who like to read crime and action thrillers, detective stories, and psychological thrillers. This is worth reading for people who like books with complicated plots.